Within the global landscape, Europe is really interesting because historically, many jurisdictions had two or three big banks who banked the entire market. Post the financial crisis, regulators were very keen to open up that market to competition and actually gave quite clear guidelines. And that differs dramatically from the way Asia has evolved and differs dramatically from the way US has evolved. So it's been quite a fertile ground for fintechs to develop their businesses, to work out what works and what doesn't work. And then secondly, there have been a lot of businesses that have been successful in one country. There have been very few that have then been able to scale that cross-border, which is a massive market opportunity. If we look across the fintech landscape and ask ourselves a question, which of these companies could be the next trillion dollar company, this is where Europe becomes really exciting because to be the global category killer, your product needs to work seamlessly in multiple jurisdictions. The consumer pull factor for this central digital platform is likely to come from increasing awareness of financial responsibility within European consumers. The state has either looked after their pension, there hasn't necessarily been the same need to be acutely aware of your own financial position on a day-to-day -day basis. I think the next generation are well aware of that. They do want to have an active role in how that is invested and that is going to drive their desire for a centralized platform where doing all of these things is as easy as watching a film or listening to different types of music on, on one platform. There's no region, there's no industry vertical that isn't being impacted. There's massive challenges and massive opportunities the whole ecosystem is addressing at this point in time.